go here. What side do you no, like? I like oh, you like this side. You know your girl's side. Okay. Was that one yours? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Are you I, hope, I hope we're in. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi there. And welcome to the rest of the Q&A. Look at our son. You got the... Yep. Did, where? Oh, there it is. Okay, so um, you all sent me a lot of questions for Jenny and I over on my Instagram, will underscore faith. If you're not following me there, just go do it. Um, so we're going to answer a couple of them because the last time I, I did them while I was rapping. And they're also for you too. Cool. Um, Should we just get right into it? Yeah, let's just dive in. Just dive in. Is there okay. anything else you'd like to add? Nope. You said it best. Will you move once you're done your master's? Um, you know, in a perfect world, I wouldn't have to. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to be realistic here. I think I'm going to just want to jump into work. <laughs> so I think being done my master's, and just having connections here, I might just have to stay here for another year or so just to like make something because I'm going to come up with a lot of debt. And I think it's, they talk about how hard it is to get clients for the first bit. And, but I don't know if I told you this. I've been having dreams about me working in schools with kids as a therapist. Interesting. And I'm like watching this kid's basketball game. That's happened twice. So I'm like, I love kiddos, so that could be a possibility. I don't even know how, what that looks like. I'm like, isn't that a social worker? Anyway, I don't know. I, I don't know. I would like to not move because I like it here, but I also realistically really can't afford to live here unless something happens. What do you do to support the other when they're feeling down and out? can speak to this because uh, I have spent the last year down and out pretty much exclusively. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's, that's how Jenny spends her time. That's like my natural resting mode. Um, that's who she is. Yeah. And Willow is just really patient and will listen and talk out how I'm feeling. And she provides perspective. Um, and yeah, I do think Willow would be such a talented effective therapist because I've been getting free therapy for <laughs> two years. Um, but yeah, have a have a therapist in training in your life and you'll be better off. I'm still not in training. I have nothing. I barely passed my prereqs. Um, I will say the thing that you and I do best is we communicate what we want. And we've learned, we've pulled from people like couples that we look up to, just people. We literally will be like, okay, do you want advice? Are you in the fixing stage or are you in the feeling stage? So there are times when Jenny's like, I need to vent to you. I don't need you to say anything. I don't need you to fix anything. I just want you to listen and agree with me or like hold space for me. Done. And then there's times where it's like, I need help with this or I'm stuck with this. And that has really helped because I think as a whole in society, especially millennials, we want a quick fix. We want to help and fix everyone. And like, Sometimes people aren't ready to do that. Some people are still in the feeling stage and sometimes they just can't hear it right now. And then you're just not, they're not feeling seen or heard. And so I think we do really well. And the same, because we both suffer from being down, I think we really understand what that person is feeling and kind of we know when to push and pull and obviously being together for so long and living with each other. But um, I think we just, yeah, we have a lot of patience and understanding. And I think, I'm trying to think when I'm really down, you're very, very good at, um, cause I am somebody who goes zero to 1000 very quickly and I'm like, the world is ending. Mm -hmm. And Jenny is just like, no, 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 let's f think this through. You're more, Jenny has her head above water more. Um, so I'm easily, uh, yeah, sometimes I just, I'm like, I don't know what to do next or whatever. Like Jenny is very like, let's go. Or I'm somebody quick to like have an opinion on something, like be really mad. And Jenny's like, comes at it and is like, no, let's, let's look at this logically, which I appreciate so much. But, um, and then when I need a hug, you give me a hug. But when I need to be kicked in the ass, you kick me in the ass. And I think that's really good. We give space for each other, which is important too. And we don't take things personally. This is such a long question, I understand this, but I think it's really important. But like, there are times where you're like, it's not you, it is everything else, I need to go for a walk. I need you to not talk to me, not take it personally. Some people go through shit. Very good answer. Thank you. One other <laughs> thing that I will add, um, when 
one of us is going through a really hard time, the other person gives them a break. Oh yeah, yeah. We step like we know when to step up and and, and yeah. also, it's like you're at, oh yeah, it's like you're at a forty. I'm like all right, I got sixty. You're at a ten. I'm at a ninety. Okay, Brene Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. We do yes. do that. Yeah, yeah. There's times where I'm like Jenny. I can't clean anything. I can't cook anything. And you step up. And there's times where I'm like, would it help if I did? And Jenny's like, yes, it would help. So. Mm-hmm. And getting treats. Always, always treats. How is Jenny doing health wise? Don't need to give details. Just hoping she's doing well compared to last year. Um, Can we just say happy one year? Of Jenny almost dying from the stupid jam jar on commercial. Don't go there. Uh, nut allergy. That happened last December. No, literally. Like, I think one year, it, it will be one year yeah. tomorrow. And it was like straight up almost died. It was yeah. yeah. Um, anyway. So glad you're here. But I, feeling really optimistic going into uh, 2024. And um, yeah, like I, this past year and the year before has absolutely whacked me around. Oh my God. <laughs> She's been whacked. Um, but <laughs> it's, go- it's getting better. Fully in my master's program, doing therapy things. Um, I, w- I really need to get home to Nova Scotia. I think it's been five or six years now. I don't know how because if I am in school, I have no money slash I have like one week off. But that is, I just have to make that a priority because like I'm missing missing the crew. Um we're going to see Noah Khan, which is going to be sick. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's that's all I have down the pipe. But I mean, um, oh, in my podcast. I want to do my podcast. Yeah. My podcast. The podcast. Do you guys hear that? The podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2024 goal is... Um, goal plunge every day. Mo- <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm talking now. Oh, my sorry. goal. No. no. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. I'm actually no. just stalling because I don't know what to say. Well, you want to do cold plunge every day, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Cold plunges every day. Our cat is judging us. Look at him. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm taking a writing <gasps> workshop in January. Yes, queen. Um, it's like a writing as healing mm. workshop and it's for women and it's a six week kind of course. Um, and I'm excited for that. We are um, go- probably going to launch like a podcast or I'll have my own podcast and Willow will have her own podcast. Um, I want to just like really get into the practice of writing and creating and storytelling. Um, I've just, I haven't really had the mental capacity for that in the last couple years, but I'm like moving into a stage where I, I feel like I will. That's both of your podcasts about. I think it was their names. Oh. First, we wanted to, I, I really wanted to talk about how I perceive the world and how other people don't. Like, so we, Jenny and I did one on birthdays and just like, because I had such a different childhood, different upbringing, I really perceive, I just look at the world very differently and I have different views and I'm just like, my brain is so wired so differently. So like, I thought that'd be really interesting. We talked about the birthday one and I thought that was a pretty good one. And maybe we can keep doing that. But really, it was just going to be me and my life lessons. Um, and then Jenny's obviously about... Are you going to say? Well... Oh, oh. oh I saw a vlog. <laughs> oh, maybe that. I don't, know. I don't know what she's doing. I actually have no idea. Um, yeah, so in 2022, a very traumatic thing happened to me. And uh, it caused memory loss. And um, so basically, the idea is with the help of Willow, who has like an amazing memory for literally remembers every detail. Um, We're going through the whole story. I am seeing it as being in like four installments. Um, And it's, it's just us walking through what happened from both of our perspectives. They know that you were in the hospital for two weeks. Oh, they do? Yeah, we talked about that. Like in the last last two weeks, didn't we? You see, I have memory issues. So like, I don't remember I don't remember that, but yeah, if that's the case, cool. <laughs> okay, if not, I can take it out. Um. <laughs> oh my God. The best thing, you're going to tell people what happened and then you're not going to remember and you're just constantly going to be telling them. Poor girl. Yeah. Your memory's getting better. We have a song. Yeah, River. By who? Leon Bridges. Yeah. Did you not think I knew it? Well, I don't know. Not everybody knows. Like, River could be Joni Mitchell. A Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. Yeah. How would you describe your personal style? Ooh. 
14 year old little boy going to gym class. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you find that funny. Um, switch, like masculine and feminine. Okay. Vintage inspired. Mm hmm. Uh, Oh yeah, I was like going for an old money thing like three weeks ago. Um, very, I tend to wear o mostly only black. Yep. And I'm trying to like introduce more color Guys, into we're my- Guys, ma we're matching for the holidays. Into my life, yeah. Did you meet Jenny's family? I did. Uh, no, did Jenny meet your family? Uh, nope, she did not. Um, but she met my very, uh, pretty much my family, Ashley and Kelly, my two best friends. What's your favorite podcast? Taryn Ar Armstrong when he's covering the Big Brother feeds. When Big Brother's on. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I do in the summer because I just don't have time to watch it. And he just breaks everything down and he's a genius. And I just, I love, I love that stuff. Um, I like how we, how I made this. Oh yeah. With Guy Raz. So it's like how entrepreneurs like make. So we just listened to the Herschel guys. Um, oh, I just listened to Goop, the sunscreen. That's a great story. But yeah, it's, I love, I love just entrepreneurs. Like it, right, regular people coming up with pretty much regular ideas and changing their lives. Mm -hmm. You? I like um, We Can Do Hard Things yeah. um, with Glennon Doyle, Abby Wambach, and Amanda, I don't know her last name. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you that there was three there. I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the top 1% of their <laughs> listeners on Spotify. Oh my God. <laughs> really, I'll be like, Jenny, I'll like to ask Jenny, she'll be like, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> You listen to like podcasts all all the time. I'll, I listen to like at least a podcast a day. Um, I also am really enjoying Where Should We Begin with Esther Perel. Oh, you are. I've been, I, I'm new to this, but I'm like, uh, I think I'm going about to be hooked. Nice. Yeah, she's nice. brilliant. What's the hardest part about moving from Vancouver, or from Toronto to Vancouver? The hardest thing about um, moving across the country at first for me the the hardest thing at first was I came to Vancouver with two bags of luggage and that's it like I had just pared down all of my belongings to those those two bags and the challenging thing was just like realizing that I needed to rebuy everything um and and you're you're literally starting from scratch and um and that took I took a, like a, a year and a half for me to build back a life over here. Um, and then like, as I got into my health crisis and I was struggling, I really, really needed my support system and my community back home that I just didn't quite have here. Um, but we got through it and you find ways around things. Like you, you visit, you talk on the phone, like those relationships morph and change. Um, yeah. Okay. My question for you. Oh, okay. To be fair, you really like adjusted fast. I moved here with nothing. I slept on the floor, whatever. I've been here for eight years, but it took me probably like three to four years to like have things. Like I think for two years I didn't have a couch. Like yeah. you did very, very well for yourself. What do you think is going to be the benefit, a benefit of your program or the biggest benefit of your program that doesn't have to do with getting the degree? I think finding some type of purpose or feeling feeling purposeful or like feeling like I'm on the right path or like feeling like this is who I am. Uh, for the longest time my whole life, I just, the jobs I would do, I just did because of money because I thought money fixed everything. I thought like that's what we did jobs for, like job equals money. But that wasn't fulfilling me. And so I think this, like going into this program, I'm going to be feeling fulfilled or like purposeful or feeling driven or just inspired, which I've been craving. And I think too, is just being immersed in uh, a community of like-minded people and being introduced into like people that also want to like save people or like that care about this, the same thing I do, you know? And um, yeah, those are two that I'm most excited for to be, to be completely honest. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for um, coming to our, our TED talk. Our couch talk. It's so Christmassy now. I'm so happy. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you. Okay, we love you. Happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I will finish the check mix. <laughs> I promise. Oh, no. Oh. Oopsie. Oopsie. I actually didn't mean to do that.